Bluehost is arguably the best hosting for WordPress, but is it easy to use? Are there any problems you can stumble upon along the way? Well, I'm Danis from Cyber News, and I'm here to show you how to make a WordPress website that feels modern. Let's start this Bluehost WordPress tutorial. Of course, to start this video, we'll need a Bluehost hosting plan. I would recommend beginning with the Plus plan, since it offers a reasonable amount of storage space. Of course, even the basic option will suffice. Every plan here comes with a free domain name, free SSL, free content delivery network, and unmetered bandwidth. Everything you need for a modern website. So, is WordPress free with Bluehost? Of course, you are only limited by allowed sites. Getting the Plus plan means creating as many free WordPress sites as you like. No matter what plan you choose, I left the most up-to-date discount links in the description down below. These will help you save money and help this channel stay independent. I personally would recommend skipping all these extra add-ons on the checkout page. These are great for extra security or SEO optimization, but you can always buy them later down the road. Once you pay for hosting, I can create a new account and log into Bluehost dashboard to show you how it all works. Let's continue with our WordPress tutorial. If you're following me along and just bought a Bluehost plan, first, don't forget to confirm your email address before continuing, okay? Next, you'll see something like this, inviting you to create a new website. Since I'm making this Bluehost WordPress tutorial for beginners, I will skip most of this setup to demonstrate how to have a fresh WordPress install. Since I already ran the initial WordPress setup, I can click the Create site to reach the same WordPress installation point. If I want, for example, a custom email address, administrator name, or password related to this specific website, I can click here and type in these here. I would recommend doing that and saving this info, you know, just in case you need to log in without going through Bluehost. So, how do I add WordPress to my domain? Well, it's the next step. Here, select the domain you bought in the previous step or add a directory name to create a WordPress subdomain. Finally, deselect all plugins. We can add them later on if we need to. Now, a question you might have, does Bluehost automatically install WordPress? The answer, yeah. That's basically all I need to do. Now, I just need to wait and that's it. My WordPress site is ready. Bluehost is the best web hosting for WordPress, not only because of its ease of setting it up, but also because of its features. How do Bluehost and WordPress work together? Impressively, the most useful thing is this little plugin from Bluehost. It allows you to manage different aspects without leaving WordPress. You might first notice this little text at the top saying coming soon activated. This means that external users would see this page instead of my website. It's great when starting a project, sure, but once done, I can click on this tab, select settings, then deactivate the coming soon option. Voila, my site is now live. Talking about major changes to my website, I always first create a staging site. A staging site is basically a copy of my website hidden from regular visitors. There, I can make all the changes I want and then just merge the two versions together. And I'm telling you this because you get this tool for free at Bluehost. To access it, go to Bluehost's dashboard, click Staging, and select Create a Staging Site. From a fresh WordPress installation, I have hundreds of ways to build my website, from specific builders to coding everything by hand. My personal favorite approach, using starter templates and Elementor Website Builder. Let me teach you, young Padawan. First, I go and install a plugin called Starter Templates. After I activate this plugin, I just need to navigate to Appearance and click Starter Templates. So okay. The first thing I need to choose is what builder I want to use here, and I always recommend going with Elementor. 
It's an easy, extensive free builder with a gentle learning curve. If a template I like has this premium tag, it will cost me extra. A thing to note here is that I can't just buy the elements I want. I have to subscribe to yearly plans, so I suggest sticking with what's free. And there are free options for any type of website, be it local businesses, bookstores, food blogs, or even large e-commerce projects. I choose a template that mostly fits what I need and I'll run through a little setup. Then the installation can begin. And here is my design. Looks much more professional and appealing than the default theme, doesn't it? To make this design actually my own, I'll have to change the content and rearrange a few elements. Let me quickly demonstrate that. On any page that I want to customize, I can click Edit with Elementor right at the top. Most of my content will be managed not through WordPress directly, but through Elementor now. I'd like to change the text block so that the viewer can see my action button more clearly. I'll just click on it and type directly on my design or in the left side menu box. I can also find all the basic settings in this menu, like for example, alignment. Every text element will be edited the same way. To change the look of my text, I go to appearance and just change the settings here. Don't be afraid to experiment with Elementor to get the hang of it. If I mess things up, I can always not save these changes by exiting or using Ctrl Z to go back. I want to remove a few elements from my design. So, I'll hover over them, click the right mouse button to bring up a second menu, and then select Delete. The same process goes for deleting small things or entire sections. Next, I'll add a few elements. I can just drag the icon I want from the left menu onto the design, and a blue marker should appear showing where this element will be placed. But don't be afraid, Elementor doesn't exactly allow me to place elements wherever. It still follows the most common website structure, so I don't need to move elements pixel by pixel. Our business or personal website project is almost completed. However, we still need one thing to finish our professional look, a domain-specific email address. You know, the one that has name at yourdomain.com. Bluehost offers two ways to have a professional email. You can use Google Workspace. It's very easy to use but costs extra. The second method, use the cPanel email manager and connect it to Gmail. For this WordPress tutorial for beginners, let's go with the latter. This will bring you to cPanel. Then, I click Create and type in my information. This includes the email name, the thing that goes before the at, and the password. I also recommend clicking Advanced and selecting Unlimited Storage Space for this email. Now, we can check our newly created inbox by clicking Check Emails. Which is a bit uncomfortable, but it does work. If you want to fix that and connect to Gmail, it takes a bit of time, but I will leave a video tutorial for more details on that right here. Hey, if this WordPress Bluehost tutorial helped you out, how about showing some love back by liking this video and subscribing to the Cyber News YouTube channel. Thanks in advance. Personally, Bluehost has the best WordPress hosting currently on the market. Setting up a WordPress website is quick and easy, even for complete beginners. It might not be the cheapest hosting provider, but all the WordPress features you get makes it worth the price. That's it for this Bluehost WordPress Tutorial 2023 version. Do you have any questions about Bluehost or about how to install WordPress? Let's chat in the comments section. Don't forget to use our discount links on the screen or down below to save some cash. And I'll see you all in my next Bluehost review or maybe a tutorial.